Sector is clear. Give us everything we got! I'm All wings! Welcome back to Ant Lives, the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. To the new subscribers, you're going to come to find out I got your back. Thank you so much for showing me your support. And to the channel gang, you guys already know I got your back. This right here marks my 290th build for NBA 2K22 current gen. I am the old head gold builder. I am the best builder in the world. And I am the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen. And 290 builds only prove that fact. This right here is a YouTube first Kawhi Leonard exact build two-way slasher. He is nice, and he is going to be unguardable at the small forward position. Now, for the skill breakdown, we want to take the half, playmaking the half, finishing with the 1A defensive and 1A shooting pie chart. For the skill breakdown, now, we're going to go right here with the third pie chart, and this is the speed and the strength. Okay? Now, we're going to go all the way up on this close shot. We're going to go all the way up on his driving layup and then we're going to go all the way up on his driving dunk and that's going to give him 15 finishing badges so we're not going to place anything on the standing nor the post hook post hook so we're going to go up on his mid-range we're going to go up on his three-point shot we're going to go up on his free throw and then we're going to go up on his post fade as well that's going to give him 12 shooting badges now we're going to bring that to 57 on his pass accuracy we're going to go all the way up on his ball handle we're going to go all the way up on his post control. That's going to give him 24 playmaking badges. Now, we're going to go all the way up on his uh, perimeter defense. We're going to go up on his lateral quickness. We're going to go all the way up on his steal. We're going to bring his block to 43. We're going to bring his offensive rebound to 40. And then we're going to finish the rest out on his defensive rebound. And something is off, so hold on, bear with me. Okay, we're going to go with one on this um, 72 on this perimeter defense. Make sure that. No, we're missing something else too. Hold on. No, we are missing something. I'm missing two of them. Let me find them. Hold on. 83, 79, 57, 82, 64. Let's see. No. Okay, we're going to go with 87 on this close shot. My fault. Now, we're going to finish the rest out right there on his defensive rebound, okay? And we, you already know we got the 10. And if you do not know what the 10 is, we're going to go with body, body shape for slight. Now, if you do not know what the 10 is, that is the slash to take over what I am referring to. And it's the most powerful takeover on the game. And the other takeovers you can actually do from the seat of your chair. Now, we're going to go with his height at 6'5 and his, and his weight. Now, this is two ways you can go with his weight, okay? You can go 243. Right, wingspan out, you have a 78, 78 strength, or you can go with 250. Either or, and you'll have a 88 strength and 99 overall. So you can, you can gain a little bit more speed with the 92 and the 91 acceleration, or you could come right here with 90 acceleration and 91 speed. Either or, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to go with this one right here because once you ignite the size to take over, you already know with the 18 point jump. But Whenever you ignite the slash to take over, you're going to get 10 of your physicals, right? So we want to go with 250 on his weight, and then we're going to bring his wingspan all the way out to 86. But like I was saying, with the uh, slash to take over, you're going to get 10 of your physicals. You're going to get a 10 of your finishing. You're going to get a 5 of your shooting. You're going to get a 10 of your ball handle, 5 of your pass accuracy, a 5 of your post control, and a 5 of your defensive rebound whenever you are ignited. But when you ignite it at 99 overall, this build right here is basically game time. It's over with. And it, whew, man. Let's just get into this build. Now, at 99 overall, you're going to have a close shot of 94. Of 94, 99 overall. And when you're not decided to take over, that's going to go over the cap of 99 and be 104. Now, you're going to have a driving layup of 99 and 99 overall. And when you're not decided to take over, that's going to go over the cap of 99 and will be 109. So you're going to have Kyrie Irving's layup package with this build as well. 
is going to dominate with that with the strength on him. Now, your driving dunk will be a 90 at 99 overall. And when you and Knight decides to take over, that is going to be over the cap of 99 and will be 100. So you're driving dunk. You're going to be able to get Vince Carter, Kobe Bryant, uh, James Harden, uh, LeBron James, Clyde Drexler with this um, build right here. And you're going to be able to get pro contact dunks off one and two. I'm not sure about small contact because it says under six foot five and this build is six foot five now you're going to have a good mid-range jump shot and it will be consistent because you're going to have a 76 mid-range jump shot and not now raw when you like the slash to take over that is going to be a 81 now your three-point shot you will be able to hit the three-point shot i would say two for five three for five uh maybe four for five from time to time you will get hot with this build uh, but you're going to have a three-point shot F69 and 99 overall. And when you ignite the slash to take over, that will be a 74. Your free throw will be a 86 and 99 overall. And when you ignite the slash to take over, that is going to be a 91. Now, I have a fadeaway tutorial. It's called Fadeaway Tutorial. Learn how to shoot fadeaway jump shots like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. You're going to learn how to shoot the fadeaway off of the dribble because I show you and illustrate in that video perfectly how you can be able to do that. You, you're going to be able to uh, speed boost into a fadeaway, triple threat into a fadeaway, anything you want to do, you're going to be able to do that with this build. Now, on to your playmaking, you're going to have a pass accuracy of 62 or 99 overall. And when you're not the size to take over, that will be a 67. This is a demigod also, by the way. You will be able to get the triple-double with this build from time to time. Now, your pass, I mean, your ball handle will be a 90. So you're a dribble god, even at 86. But it will be a 90 at 99 um, overall. And when you're not the size to take over, that goes over the cap of 99 and will be 100. Your post control will be at 80 at 99 overall. So you're going to be able to utilize that post control as long um, as well with in combinated with the post fade. Post and post. Post control, post fade. That's the same. Um, but at 99 overall, when your night decides to take over, your post control will be at 85. Now, your your perimeter defense will be a 82 at 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to be at 87. Your live quickness will be a 79 at 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to be at 84. You're already a pickpocket because you got an 82 still. So you're going to be able to get a lot of steals with this uh, build right here. But at 99 overall, that still will be at 87, uh, 86. And when your night decides to take over, that's going to turn into a 91. Now, your block and your offensive rebound both will be 44 at 99 overall. And when your night decides to take over, take over they will be 49 now your defensive rebound that's a high nice defensive rebound for this build because it has power so you're going to be able to get up and battle a little bit in the paint because you have a, a high amount of strength on the build but your your defensive rebound will be a 74 at 99 overall and when your knight decides to take over that is going to be a 79 now the great part about the build as i was saying is the slash takeover and what it's going to do to your physicals because you're going to get an 18 point jump and the other takeovers that you can do from your seat of your chair only give you a five to your physicals okay so there's four ways that you get to fours one way is the gatorade facility you can get fours for a week level 40 winning the nba championship and getting the 99 overall as we all know so at 99 overall you're going to have a speed and an acceleration of you're going to have a speed of 91 and an acceleration of 90. And when you ignite the size to take over, your speed goes over the cap of 99 and will be 101, as well as your acceleration will go over the cap of 99 and will be 100. Now, you're going to have a vertical of 71 and 99 overall. And when you ignite the size to take over, that will become a 80. And then you're going to have a strength of 88 at 99 overall. And when you ignite the size to take over, that's going to be a 98. So basically, you have a freight train at 99 overall when you get hot with this build because your speed and acceleration will be over the cap of 99. And then you're going to have a strength of 98. So you're going to be able to dunk on um, seven foot three guys with this build, guaranteed. Mm, he's bad. All right, and you're going to be able to go up and score them as well. Now, like I said, we could take shot career. That's R3, but we're going to go after this playmaker badge, right? I mean, the slash and takeover badge right here because it's going to set the overtone for the build. And there you have it. Only at Ant Lives and Channel. Now do you have Kawhi Leonard's exact build, two-way slasher. You think I'm lying about this build, take it into my builder, and you will see all the things it is able to do. This is my 290th build for NBA 2K22 current gen. Now what I'm going to do is test this 
um, build. And what I mean by that, I'm just going to show you why I placed the badges if I was to use this build. Yes, yes, he's a bad boy. Now we're going to go all the way up here. All right. Now for this, right, we're going to go with Fearless Finisher. Limitless Takeoff and then Unstrippable. Hold on. All right, we're going to go right there with these two. All right, so you're going to get that contact of that giant slayer. You're going to score on them seven foot three, seven two dudes because you're going to have 88 strength and you're going to have that giant slayer. So that's going to be a layup, guaranteed. And then you have fearless finishing to combinate with that. So don't worry, you're going to finish in that rim, in that paint against those seven foot two guys, those great defensive guys. You're going to score on them. And now we're going to go with shooting. And what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to turn them into a set shooter. So I'm going to use real player um, shot percentage with him now this is key here i'm not going to go hot zone you can go hot zone later on if you want to i'm gonna go with blinders mitch max mitch max expert and then i'm gonna take stop and pop like i said you can go here with faders if you wanted to and say if you wanted to go here you can't go there all right but i'm gonna go catch and shoot stop and pop because you do have a ball handle. And if you're in the open spot with a ball handle, and you're going to hit the shot either with shot timing or the real shot meter. Uh, either one. Real shot timing or shot meter, you're going to make that jump shot with that stop and pop off of the ball handle of this build. And we got 24. You got quick first step, of course. Unpluckable. Quick chain. Hyperdrive. You can go with handles for days if you want to. You can, honestly. But I'm going to go, and the reason why I don't go with handles today is because I'm not the point guard. But you might find yourself, even now, now if they're throwing you at power forward a lot, handles for days, right? And then we're going to go with tight handles. And then we'll go with triple threat juke because of the fact you've got so much power in this build, right? You're going to be able to take them off of the dribble out of this triple threat juke because the one is up, the three is under, the two is over, two is over, three is under, one is up. And it goes counterclockwise, one, three, two, two, three, one. You're gonna, whenever you decide to take your opponent off the dribble, out of the triple threat juke, you're going to place them on the opposite side of your shoulder, being the fact that the build is so strong and you have a great quick first step, you're basically going to power up into your defender, get the and one and the foul and score on them. All right. Now, six defensive badges. I'm going to go with Chase Down right here. Intimidator. And then I'm going to go with Rim Protector. I'm not really pressing the rebound with this build. I'm thinking about more of being the, a defender out on the perimeter. And being I got an 88 strength on this build, that's basically going to turn that into a Hall of Fame. And then that's going to be a silver and that'll be a gold because that's an 88 intimidator badge especially when you get the nine out of all you can like the slash to take over that's going to be a 98 intimidate intimidator badge two off of uh 100 mm, this build here is nice and there you have it Kawhi leonard's exact build for flow i mean for a two-way slasher don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. And as I always say, I got your back. The channel gang, you already know I got your back. This is 290 builds strong for you guys. I am the old head gold builder. I am the best builder in the world. And I am by far the hardest working builder for NBA 2K22 current gen. And 290 builds only prove that fact. And without anything further being said, I am